It is that time of year when we are bundling up to go outside. Well, you know, there are people in our community who don't have what they need to really stay warm this winter, and there are also people in the community who are trying to make a difference yeah. about that. Brian Ingram from 7th Street Truck Park and New Bohemia is with us. We also have Cheryl Peterson from the Listing House in St. Paul. You guys teaming up here. Brian, why don't you start and tell us what you guys are doing? Sure. Well, thanks for having us. We're super excited about being able to do something, give back to our community. So we were sitting around really thinking about the Super Bowl, thinking about the holidays. Super Bowl for some, super cold for others. For us as business owners, it's great the Super Bowl's coming to town. We're going to have a bunch of business, but I get to see homelessness every day driving into St. Paul and seeing these folks that are out on the corners, out on the streets, uh, women, children, men. Uh, and it was it was really weighing on me. So we decided to partner with the listening house and hopefully get some jackets and warm clothes for those. We're hoping to feed some folks on Christmas Eve. We're going to give out some free pizza, hot chocolate at Seven Seat Truck Park, and really try to make a difference in the community and really try to get other business owners and bar owners out there to kind of rally. And there's more to it than reaching out to our vendors and getting free hockey tickets. It's, right. Get us some coats. Let's uh, uh, let's put some coats on some people. That's fantastic, and yeah. thank you so much for doing all that for the community. Cheryl, talk to us a little bit about what you've seen from Listening House. How big of a need is this? You think a coat, everyone should have one, but not everyone does. Right, not everybody does. You know what? It, it it does get cold in Minnesota, and if you are living on the streets and and you're homeless, you, you're obviously like not pulling your winter coat out of your closet, right? Because you don't really have a closet. Mm. So um, we do have a need. We see about 120 single adults a day, 80% um, men, 20% women. Um, and we see a need for big coats. So even if somebody is a slight guy, because people are layering up. Layering up. Yeah. You need, yeah. Um, we need, need extra large XXL, XXL. Yeah, XXL. Yeah, large yeah. coats. Brian, you guys have a 7th Street Truck Park is kind of this new, like, food indoor food truck concept. Sure. And of course, I think people know New Bohemia now because yep. there are how many locations? Seven yep. locations, Seven, craft uh, beer and sausage. Yep. Great, great sausage, great nice. kind of vibe in there. And so yep. people can bring stuff, not just coats, but blankets and any, anything Any you warm want. stuff gloves, that you have, gloves, hats, boots, anything you have, we'll make sure it gets to the right places. We have uh, little drop boxes at every one of our locations around town. Uh, so we're, we're taking them every single day and even after Christmas, like I said, Super Bowl's coming, all of that yeah. stuff's mm -hmm. going to be going on. So we'll take coats really whenever and we'll make sure that they get to the, the right spot. A lot of people have it in the closet, right? That coat that maybe you just don't wear anymore and, yeah. and you can put them to use mm -hmm. right away. Absolutely. Well, that is so great. If you want to help, if you have any items that you would like to donate, the Winter Clothing Drive runs through Saturday. It does benefit Listening House of St. Paul and Joseph's Coat. You can drop off items to both of those locations. They're looking, again, for any slightly used or new coats, jackets, blankets, sweaters, hats, boots, gloves. You name it, you know, if you live in Minnesota, anything that you need to stay warm, they'll take. Well, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having us. We really appreciate it. Thanks All right. So well, much.